Like most African nations, Uganda is football mad. But what's less widely talked about is its policy towards refugees, with some 800,000 plus people currently finding safety here from the conflict in neighboring South Sudan. For World Refugee Day, I wanted to come here to see if football has a role to play in helping local people in the refugee community build bridges with one another. You gotta show, look at this. Hold on. <laughs> no, you two have to keep it away from me and me and him. Look at him, he wants to be on my team. I don't know how you guys play in the heat so much, it's I'm hot. Football actually helped me to be very strong and held and to forget about problems. And actually, it's a part of communication. I get a lot of friends when I'm playing football. How was my tricks? Are they all right? Yeah, you have a lot of tricks. I have a lot yeah, of tricks? <laughs> Say hi. Hi. This is Catherine, and she's gonna show me where she lives. So let's go back and see, see your house real quick. This is her family. Say hi. Hi. Hi, there you go. <laughs> Whoa. I used to sleep here. This is where you sleep? Yeah. And you built this? Bed. You built this with the help of everyone or you built it by yourself? I built it by myself. Wow. <laughs> okay. You gotta hold it right. So you hold it. Hold it right here. Alright, and then what you do I'll do is I'll hold it a little lower. This one here? Yeah, yeah, so you touch on your face. <laughs> Put it on your face face like She is a Manchester United band on and match in Manchester United rings. She's a big Manchester United fan. <laughs> and your favourite player is? is? My favourite player was Robin Van Persie. Are you guys going to watch the game? No. no. Oh, you're not going to watch it? You don't like Chelsea? <laughs> ah, if Chelsea like wins, they win the league. No, we are fearing to move at night. night. Do you not, are you not supposed to go out at night? No. We are supposed to go, but the place is, is, very, yeah. is having dangers. We don't know the people are living here. Yeah. We are just refugees who have come here to settle and we don't know the background of this place. That's why we're fearing to move at night. Mm. How long ago did you come to this camp? From Sudan to here? Yeah. Actually, by the time when I'm, I'm in here, we use footing. Because those people, they want to kill us, the rebels. Mm. Actually, they attack us, that they want to kill us. Then one of them say that, eh, hey, better for us to rush to the neighbor. By the time they run there, we start running. Just, I come and find myself here with my stepmom, and I left my family all there. I'm just here alone with the stepmom. Yeah. In South Sudan, actually, those people they are still fighting there. I'm actually hearing that there's a, there's still fighting there. When you when you play the when you just play football together, does it does it help you forget? Yeah, it them? will make me to forget. When I'm having actually a, a lot of problems like today, I will just go and play football. I will forget a lot of things. Because when you're playing football, you will be very happy. There's a lot of skill there, will make you even to laugh, yeah. to forget about things. Although our mothers are different, but we need to share ideas together. We used to move together, we used to play together. So I met this uh, girl, Catherine, today. I got to find out a lot more about her background and the situation she's been through that it really is, when you hear it in the words, it's, it's heartbreaking, but you can only just try to empathize and then try to understand. Yeah, uh, a remarkable young girl, and I believe we're gonna be talking again soon and bonding over more football that we're gonna watch here, so. Stay tuned for that. To show how important football is to her and her community, Catherine took me to see a match between two zones from the Biribiri refugee settlement taking place in a Ugandan host community. 
The match was organised by the International Rescue Committee, a global humanitarian aid organisation providing life-saving aid to South Sudanese refugees, as well as supporting their love of football. So this is uh, basically home to the Ugandan nationals uh, who live in this community and they've invited uh, the two of the refugee zones to come and play football and the response is amazing. Imagine we were in New York City or anywhere across America, would you imagine this amount of American nationals turning up to see Syrian refugees playing football or anything like that? The atmosphere of these people coming to watch football for two refugee teams is mind-blowing. And to say thanks to Catherine, I brought her something real special from back home. This is for you. Look at that. Do you like it? Yeah. Is it going to be nice? The well, so this is for you. Try it on and see, if it, see how it looks. Look at that. It fits perfect. You're going to look good in that strip. It's the best looking strip in the world. That's what everyone needs to know. And then these are for you as well. Okay, thank you. You look great. Yes. It was amazing to, to see that someone completely different background, went through a lot of things that I can't even imagine, just looks at football as such an important thing in her life. Football is uniting these people. Football is allowing for people who have previously been at conflict, been at war, trying to kill each other, playing football together in an environment that just, just speaks to inclusivity and it really is breathtaking to see it.